Hello everyone, this is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We are in Romans chapter 8 verse 23 as well as Habakkuk chapter 3 verse 10. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Father God, thank you so much for this word. Thank you that even nature obeys you, Lord. Help us to be even the more obedient. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, Romans chapter 8, verse 23. And not only the creation, but we ourselves, who have the first fruits of the Spirit grown inwardly as we wait eagerly for adoption as sons, the redemption of our bodies. All right, and this is just talking about the conflation of our bodies, right? The the unification of our spirit um, on our glorified body and our actual natural body as one. It says, and not only the creation, meaning um, it's speaking about verse 12, um, the creation um, going through these labor pains, but it's saying it's not just the creation that's going um, um, through these labor pains as they eagerly await the adoption as sons and the redemption of our bodies, but it's also us, right? It says, but we ourselves who have the first fruits of the spirit grown inwardly as we eagerly await for adoption. And so it's saying that um, we have the first fruits of the spirit and we know that the fruit of the spirit is a list, right? But here um, we have the first fruits of the spirit, um, meaning the unity um, of, of our spirit, our body, and um, our, our glorified body, right? And that is the birthing um, of, of those, those joined things together um, as a fruit. And so it says it's basically like a fruit that's being plucked from the earth. And so um, it says, we who have the first fruits of the spirit grown inwardly as we eagerly as we wait eagerly for adoption as sons we know that we are already engrafted into this family we already kind of um fulfill that role and and sit in heavenly places as rulers but he's saying like the fulfillment um the actual redemption and the fulfillment of the contract um, completely right as when Christ returns and so eagerly for that adoption as sons for adoption as sons the redemption of our bodies meaning now this final portion um, the redeeming of our bodies from this earth um, to be joined together with the spirit and and the glorified body as one right and so it says let's read it all together and not only the creation. Well, we'll read verse 22 as well. Well, we know that the whole creation has been groaning together in the pains of childbirth until now. And not in verse 23, and not only the creation, but we ourselves who have the first fruits of the spirit grown inwardly as we wait eagerly for adoption as sons, the redemption of our bodies. And so this is conflated today with Habakkuk chapter three, verse 10. The mountains saw you and writhed. The raging waters swept on. The deep gave forth its voice. And so these are conflated today because of the the groaning and the the pains and the the movements of the earth as it brings forth the will of the father right because as it stated before it's not only us who is yearning for the completion of these things yearning for the bringing forth of uh, of the unity of our our um body with our glorified body um and not only the earth but um all of us we're not only us but the earth as well um, it's it's all seeking to see that fulfillment 
of, of God's word, right? Not returning to him void to the point that the rocks tremble, right? To the point that the mountains writhed and the raging water swept on and the deep gave forth its voice, right? It wants God's word to be fulfilled. It wants the the revealing of the sons, right? It wants the the eager adoption as sons, the redemption of our bodies, right? It wants to see these things take place. Why? Because these um, elements, these these natural creations were created by the creator and they long for the glory of the creator. It says, let's just read um, verse 22 again, for we know that the whole creation has been groaning together in the pains of childbirth until now that the earth is is going through childbirth just as we are right just as we are are bringing forth um our 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 old man uh, not our old man our our new man um and and unifying the the dead by the the natural body with the glorified body in the same way that that is going through the pains of affliction and life and death and and going through all those things to be um, unified together um, with the glorified body when God chooses the right time um, in the same way the earth is going through those some those same things those pains um be it because of his wrath, be it because of his glory, be it because of just his word not returning to him, boy, the earth feels these things. It, it goes through these motions um, as it knows that the, the Lord is coming, right? That the Lord's wrath is going to be poured out, that the Lord's hand is at work. Um, if you look at the conflation Habakkuk chapter 3, it's talking about all these things happening because the Lord is coming down in his great wrath, right? And so verse 10, it says, the mountain saw you and writhed. So the Lord came down and the mountain shook, right? With great fury, they writhed. And it says the raging water swept on. So the waters even um, were just in such a, a, a bolster because the, the Lord was coming down. And it says the deep gave forth its voice. So meaning like the deep waters of the ocean raged, right? And they, they made sounds of crashing and greatness, right? Because the Lord had come down from his place down to the earth. And so in that same way, um, when the Lord moves, the earth knows to make it sound. When the Lord moves, the the earth gives it gives him glory. When the Lord is doing something, um, the earth knows its place, right? It knows its position. And we should, how much more should we, right? Because we know that God is real and we can, we can speak on these things. We can, we can speak on our redemption. We can speak on um, all the beauty of the Lord's creation. So how much more should we be moved when we see the, the Lord moving? How much more should we be doing the will of the father when he is, you know, about to, to have his way on the earth? We need to be right there giving him glory, responding to him, listening for his voice, ready for the labor pains, ready to push when it's time to push, ready to, to do the will of the father. Amen. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and pray. Father God, thank you so much for this word, Lord. We know that if the earth is in, in childbirth, then we are about to come forth and have this baby, Lord God. We're about to be unified body, spirit, glorified body, Lord God, all as one, Lord Jesus. Help us to be ready for that unification, Lord God. Help us to respond as the earth responds. Help us to move mightily when we see you move. 
Lord God, help us to know what to do in the right time, in the right place. Lord God, help us to bring forth sound when it is appropriate to bring forth sound, Lord. We love you, we praise you, and we thank you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, amen. All right, you guys, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious. Well, actually, let me give you the invitation. Um, If there's anybody out there who would like to receive Jesus as their Savior and Lord, go ahead and pray this prayer with me. But more than anything, believe it with all your heart as you confess it with your mouth. Dear Lord Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. Jesus, I believe you died on the cross. And I believe you rose again on the third day so that I can be saved. Father God, forgive me of all my sins. Cleanse me of all unrighteousness. Lord Jesus, sit on the throne of my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, you guys, if you pray that prayer and you believe that prayer, then the Holy Spirit has come into you and sealed you until the day of redemption. And no one can break that seal except Christ Jesus himself when he comes to redeem his church. The Holy Spirit is in you to lead you and guide you into all truth, meaning he's going to show you the way in all your decision making in this life. All right, you guys, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you his children his peace. Take care and go out and find a church home. Go out and be around other believers. Um, Be sharpened in the word of God. Be baptized and make disciples of all men. All right, you guys, be blessed and take care.